Hello everyone and welcome to Planet Zoo. I am Elite Chris and today we are starting our Let's Play series on Franchise Mode where we build a zoo all around the world and trade your animals online. I read that exactly from this right here and that's what we're going to do. I played this I played this in a live stream before I was rudely interrupted by the game and um, my zoo sucked and I lost a lot of money because I was trying to get all fancy and creative at the beginning. Which you cannot do in franchise mode because you will run out of money and then you will take a loan and think you'll be fine. But it turns out you will not be fine and you will lose everything and go negative and have to start over like I did. So don't do that and uh, please do not uh, spend too much money at the beginning. So uh, welcome to your franchise. What would you like to call it? And your franchise, if you did not know, is your franchise, like it says, of all your zoos. So you can have multiple, fran multiple franchises, multiple zoos in your franchise and then... Uh, yeah, so you can have multiple zoos in your franchise, and you can bounce around, and I think you sh can uh, do some crazy cool stuff with that. Uh, not quite sure, but at some point I'll learn, and maybe make a video on it explaining it, if that's what people want. But uh, it's a franchise, pretty self-explanatory. So our franchise is going to be called... Um, uh, what is it going to be called? Uh, I'll go back to my Elite World, which is the Elite World of Zoos. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. And we get our 100 points. And let's do a North America. And we're going to make it uh, called Elite. Elite in America. And uh, if we make a Europe zoo, it'll be Elite in Europe and Elite in Asia and uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I made the mistake. Um, before doing a grassland in Europe, and that didn't make any sense at all. Although I guess there is grassland right here in Europe, as I say that. I was thinking more of temperate Europe when I did the map, and I thought it'd be nice and green and beautiful looking, and it was not. It was very, uh, very not lifelike. Very, everything looked dead. So yeah, let's, uh, just go ahead and create our zoo. And get started. Because I know me rambling on at the beginning of the video is going to make a lot of people very angry. So I will uh, try not to ramble on at the beginning of the video. And here we go, guys. We're in our uh, zoo. There's an inspector right here arriving in 24 months. Which should give us plenty of time to set up our zoo. So, of course, you're always going to start with a path. And I think we're just going to do uh, whatever, what's the width of this? Width is 20 feet. I changed my measurements from meters to feet because I'm American and it's easier for me to understand. We'll go out like five from here. And so we'll do one, maybe two clicks. And then this one, two. And let's see if I can hit this right at... I had an idea for something, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. It's going to be tough. Turn the length to two, and then we'll undo all this. Control Z to undo actions. If you did not know, that is the hotkey. There's also a button right here. But yeah, let's try that. And we'll keep it straight. And keep it straight. All right, let's see if I can do it now. Now we'll come to here. Snap off that. And that looks like a cactus. The cactus entrance. Is going to be a lot tougher than ah, I thought it would be. That's kind of cool, a little crooked walkway. The idea is this will split off into three different directions, but it's uh, not looking very good. At least I don't think so. 
I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, nothing wants to line up right. There we go. That, that looks a little better, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. oh maybe. Just trying to stay away from squares. I don't want a bunch of squares. Alright, let's not do this. Let me get back to here. <clears throat> let's try this again. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I want like I just want a place where I can put like trees at some point and have a nice beautiful little you know thing. Little circle ovaly ear looking thing. Whatever that is. Alright. Let's get a path down to where our first exhibit's gonna be, which I think it's gonna be right over here somewhere. We want it right by the entrance, probably put some visitor things here. Actually do that right now. We want a guest facility and we just want a Planet Zoo info shop. That way when people come to our zoo, they can just stop here. And we'll put it at a nice little angle. Try not to make everything all square. I want try to have some unique looking things. I don't want a nice square looking shop. And then we'll put a merchandise shop right behind it. And I think that will be alright if it's squared. Because I said so. <laughs> Looney balloons. Looney balloons. It's Looney Balloons! Alright, beautiful. And then we'll put down a small toilet to start with. Because, uh, yeah. Because I said so. Good answer, right guys? Look at that, that fits in there perfect. And we can beautify that later on when we get some money rolling in. But for now, that is, that is gonna work perfect. Do I want an ATM? I feel like ATMs always screw me over. I just, I don't know why, but I feel like they do. So I'm not going to put an ATM in for now. And we're not going to put a food stall in for now, at least over here. All right, guys, you don't eat at my zoo. You're not allowed. Let's build our first uh, habitat. So it's a zoo game. That's what you're supposed to do. This is uh, resistance grade two. It is semi-transparent, it is climbable, and it is not watertight. Imagine that, a chain link fence not being watertight. I would have never guessed. Leave a little bit of room here. And then we're going to go right down this thing. So apparently, we just got to get the first one, like... Like... Come on. That. Will work. And that's not bad. I can live with that. It looks centered. Uh, might not be, but that's okay. The wooden, yeah, wooden habitat gate. Yes, gate. Not sure what that's for. Maybe if you wanted to have a petting zoo. I don't know. But we have a habitat gate, which is what we need to get into the habitat. I feel like we could uh, put this on the back and have a employee path back here with all the good old employee stuff back here. We will do that. That way it's in the front. It looks good. So we're going to go to path, and then, not Q, we want staff path, not employee path, I'm sorry. And we're going to just pick that one, because why not? Staff don't need a big path. You can use the old 13 footer. And we got a tree to move. I'm 
back to path. We want the uh, employees to have their own little walkway because your guests do not like seeing the employee stuff. So we'll try to keep uh, all that hidden and out of the way. But we're going to need a path for them to connect to. And I kind of like that shape right there. Yeah, that looks cool. Not everything looks symmetrical, and that is not necessarily a bad thing. I kind of like the way it looks. Nice looking zoo. I think that's crooked, but uh, can't be perfect, right? It's our first little habitat, so yeah, can't be too picky. <clears throat> so now we're going to... Alright, yep, challenges. Where are that? Zoo. Overview. Staff. Do we want... Uh... I don't know the difference between a caretaker and a keeper. I think caretaker is just clean. Maybe. They need a staff room. And yeah, that's that we'll get a caretaker, a keeper, mechanic, a security. Um, have one extra vendor and a veterinarian so we have one of everything so then we go to facilities and we go to staff facilities and we look for the zookeeper hut small and that is what uh, they use for the animals so we want that kind of close I think it's where they like get the food ready and all that good stuff. So we want that kind of close to there. Like, uh, I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it looks good. Next, we're going to need a quarantine, which is where you send animals that are sick and need quarantined or else they could infect other animals. So we'll put that. Put that right there between, nestled between the trees, all nice and cute. All right, and the research center, we need that or else we can't research like the name says. So let's uh, put the research center. Let's put it. Where do I want a research center? Maybe I'll put it right here next to this. Last time I built a zoo, I built these like right on top of each other. I don't know if I want to do that again. Let's line this one up with that, like that, and that, like that. And I'm just focused on the yellow lines right now, just trying to get it as symmetrical as I can without getting too ridiculous. Alright, so that's the... what did I put down the research? Then we got the staff room, which is what everyone here is complaining about, that they don't have a staff room. Because we got some lazy workers that want to rest. So, we'll, we'll let them rest. It will be nice, right? Yeah, it will be nice. And we'll put this right on the back and uh, have a nice little... Nice little building that looks like it's one. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks cool. And maybe we'll take this. Maybe we will do it like this just to make it look like one big happy building. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. You have a staff room. Maybe that, uh, play it. 
find a accessible staff room with space. What? There's clearly a staff room and it clearly has space. Maybe it just takes a minute. But uh, that's fine for now. So let's uh, go on to our next facility. And that will be the... At the Trade Center, right? I don't think we do. No, that's uh, that, that, that's research. Trade Center. No, we don't have that, do we? So we'll put that somewhere over here. Yeah, let's put that. That right there and the surgery I don't know if you need all these buildings at the beginning but uh, I'm just putting them down because we're gonna need them at some point and if we go bankrupt we go bankrupt right life lesson maybe these trees he moved a little bit. Maybe we'll put this tree here. And I try to hide that a little bit to keep people happy. And maybe we'll move this back, so... Like that. That way they're kind of in the same general location. And facility, what else do we got? Is that it? Surgery and the Planet Zoo workshop. I don't know what the workshop is. I'm probably assuming it has something to do with the engineers or something. So. We'll do it like that. That looks good. That looks beautiful. Perfect. All our staff rooms are done. That is great. Give our staff a minute on play and we'll see what happens. See if they get happy. Yeah, they're happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Alright. So now we'll go back to pause and. Uh, get an animal in this place and we'll sort by price and yep that's crazy expensive sort by if it'll let me sort by price lowest awful expensive why is everything so expensive I don't have enough for anything can buy an ad or I'm not even gonna try to say that Ardvark Erdvark Erdvark I don't know 6.7 years old an adult one's one and why does everything cost so much the other day when I was on here everything was so cheap All right, well, I think we're going to have to go with these because uh, it's all we can afford. It's literally everything cheapest. Maybe we should have started with an exhibit. Yeah, we can afford this. We got 13,000. These are 1,000 and 2,000. Uh, we need a mail, though. Crap. Crap. Alright, so maybe we'll put this on pause because we don't have that. Maybe we'll set up a exhibit. So we can build a small animal exhibit. But first, let's uh, find something to put it in. Don't want that. 
Maybe, do we have a blueprint, maybe? All, all animal exhibits. Blueprints, there we go. Here we got a prefab. The shop, that's a large shop shell. That's all these things. I need like a little habitat exhibit. Hmm. So maybe we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what the exhibit trading has anyway. Maybe everything on this is too expensive as well. I don't know. Ah, no, a beetle. You can buy a beetle for $78. <clears throat> Not be released to the wild because it's being adopted for cash. It cannot be released to the wild. Okay, that's whatever. Fertility is 33%. Want to keep the fertility high. Longevity very critical. All right, I'm not liking that. There's no good animals to trade for though. I'm really not. Literally, this is the cheapest one right here. This male. Come on, someone post something. God, this thing's changing so fast. People's prices are insane. See, like, look at this. I only paid... The other day when I was playing online, this is all I paid for everything. Now everything's, like, through the roof. Oh, here we go. We're going to adopt the male. And we need a female. Adopt that female. And adopt this female. There we go. We got uh we got three animals in our storage now. So we're going to select all three of these. Apparently I can't. Maybe we'll let time play. Maybe I can do this yesterday. Now I can't do it. Right. So we're gonna move this to. I assume you move it to the trade center if you want to trade it. We wanted to move it to quarantine. Just to make sure it's healthy. Pretty sure that's how it works. I did do the tutorial yesterday, so I do know a little bit of what I'm doing here, guys. Alright, this is at the Trade Center. We're going to move this. Um, Alright, let me try this again. Move. We're going to put it in quarantine. And then someone should be... There he is. Our little keeper guy is going to move them into there. And then the vet should be quarantining them. At three is eight. There's no staff in there. Why is there no staff in there? Oh, there she goes right there. Are you going in there? Oh, we're just going to walk by. So select all. Alright, let's just move them all to Habitat 1. And we'll build our habitat. We move the poles. That's better.
better. That I can live with. Alright, so let's see what you guys need. So if you have not played this game before, and this is your first time watching someone play it, but I'm sure it's probably not because this is a little late on coming out. So we're going to click here, and we're going to click on Terrain, and the uh, animal needs more grass short, so we're going to go in here, and they need less grass long, so we're just going to fill this in till the grass long and grass shorter, kind of in the middle of that white bar. So that's better, and then they need more soil, so we'll add more soil. There we go. So they're good there. And we're going to click on this. Their welfare as moderate. It has zero enrichment percent and it's social. So it's social group. Too many adults. Too many adult animals in animals social group. So they don't like having that many adults for some weird reason. But uh, guess what? They're going to have to get over that. We're going to have to go check. Uh, they have no hard shelter. So we're going to have to put a hard shelter down for them. And environment, their plant types and coverage is good. So apparently these animals are like super, super happy with having a wide open area because they don't want anything. I see they're happy with plant type and coverage is appropriate. So that's, that's weird, but okay. But while we're waiting, we're going to put, uh, we're going to put a vet to research these and hopefully figure out uh, what their enrichments are. Because you have to research each animal to uh, learn what their enrichments are and unlock their enrichments so you can put their enrichments in their uh, habitat. They're fighting due to overcrowding. Do they need a bigger area? What if we give them if we give them a bigger area? Definitely don't want that. We're gonna add this. Delete this one. How do I delete it? Great question. Right click. Are they better now? I kind of like that curve too. I was going to fix that, but I kind of like it like that. Is that weird? Maybe. I oh, definitely didn't want to do that. Alright, they're still fighting. I think. can't find an accessible staff room. If there's a staff room right here. Oh, because it's full. Everyone is in the staff room. Alright, let's see how these guys are doing. Let me check this. They need a hard shelter. So we'll go to habitat and beds and shelters and we'll put down And we'll find something a little bigger for you guys. Something like that. And then we'll 
put uh, some bedding in here. Something like that. Put a bed right there if they want to sleep outside. Food and water. We're going to filter it to species. And the Advark. And they like water bowls small. We'll put a water bowl small in. And they like food bowl large. Put that in there like seed. And let's see if they're happy now. Their enrichments are bad. <sighs> That's bad. Social. The adult population is horrible. All right, so we'll have to, we're going to have to get rid of one of these, sadly. So let's find the older of the two females. We're going to send animal to storage in trade center. There we go. That made him happy. So apparently this animal you can only have two of. So uh, note to anyone out there. You can only have two of them. Learn from my mistake. You can only have two. There can only be two. And zoo. There we go. Our research is done on the Advrak for the first one. The first tier, you have all these one, two, three, four, five, six, six tiers to research. We have one done. So that's going to show us our first set of enrichments we can get for... We'll go to enrichment items. And I know, because we only have one uh, enrichment uh, researched, I know that the large barrel feeder is for these guys because we have no other animals, so... Unless it says right here, Advark. Let's check there. That's the animal cam, by the way. If you double click on the animal, you can get to that. Their food enrichment uh, is 100%, so now we just need to unlock their toy enrichment. All right, so the last thing we're going to do today is we are going to try to sell this. We're going to quick trade it, or we're going to... How do we... How do we send it to the trade thing? Move to... So it's going to go in the trade center. And then we're going to see if we can trade it. And it's raining. Look at that rain. That is beautiful. We're making money, so that's good. That's always a good, uh, good sign. And there's our enrichment for our Advric. Let's hope that is the toy enrichment. And that rain looks beautiful. Oh, look at that. They're actually under the thing because it's raining. That's cool. That or they're sleeping because it's nighttime. And that guy's filling the water when it's raining. <laughs> nice. Hey, here's their uh, toy. Got a small ball. We'll see if that is enough to completely... Yes, their enrichment is... Uh, 75. Let's see if I put down another one. Will that... Stays at 75. No sense in uh, overkilling it. And we have another visiting player. We're going to say hello because it gives us 20 of these leaf things that I always forget what they're called. Conservation credits. That's what they're called. Conservation credits. Oh, look at that. That is cool, man. The rain is flowing right off the... You can literally see it flowing off the roof. That is cool. Very, very cool. And, okay, so we have it in the trade center. Let's see if uh, we can trade it. We're going to click on the ad rack. 
Maybe because I bought it in the thing, I can't actually trade it. But we're going to quick trade it because we don't need it. Get a little bit of money back. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, that is going to do it as we watch the adverts play. I'm sure I'm saying their name wrong, but uh, that's okay because it's only a game, right? So, uh, yeah, if you're still out there watching, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you liked, didn't like, etc. It's been a long time since I did a Let's Play, if it wasn't obvious. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.